everyone, it's Joyelle and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do another chit chat video. We're going to talk about how to overcome a lot of those overwhelming feelings that you may experience on your natural hair journey. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And also let me introduce you to this week's promo. Ready to fall in love? Emma Louisa is having their Valentine's Day sale with buy one, get one 40% off. Exceptional quality, fair prices, premium details, and perfect pieces for everyday or formal wear. Anna Luisa makes sustainability the main focus, and that's why I continue to support and love this company. They offer long-lasting pieces, perfect for any event and opportunity, that are crafted with care, with no luxury markups, and only use the best noble metals. Anna Luisa offsets 100% of their carbon emissions, starting with the sourcing of raw materials, all the way to the disposal of their pieces. Plus, the use of limited batches ensures the highest standards while eliminating excessive waste. They believe in enjoying and celebrating the earth without leaving a trace while providing beautiful pieces of everyday jewelry that I feel fit my more minimal aesthetic. For this Valentine's Day, I have chosen Lilu, which is a sleek threader earring that features a long slender chain and cubic zirconia accents. Super simple design, a unique design at that, that is crafted in recycled sterling silver and then dipped in 14 karat gold. Perfect for any date night, or a Valentine's Day date night, or evening outfit, and will pair with any other gold necklace. Next they sent me the Venta Oval, which is another very delicate, beautiful necklace that is crafted in recycled sterling silver, and then dipped in 14 karat gold, featuring a mother of pearl centerpiece. I love pearls, I think pearls go with basically anything, besides opal is my other kind of go-to jewelry piece, so this necklace was perfect with any set of pearl earrings that you have. Last but not least, I also chose their Hana Lee Heart Necklace, a gold chain necklace that features a shimmering bright red heart pendant that is basically the perfect piece for any Valentine's Day look. You can also pair it with their Hana Lee mismatched earrings to complete the look for your date night. Anna Luisa continues to provide gorgeous yet delicate jewelry that I don't find to be overwhelming and are excessive. Perfect for everyday looks, an office look, a date night look, basically any event. They pair with just about everything that I wear and complement your natural beauty, not hiding or covering it. With pieces from $39 to hiring pieces, show some love for yourself, a loved one, and the earth this Valentine's Day. Go to shop.analuisa.com slash joyelle or click the link in my description box to find your perfect pieces. Don't forget to use my discount code JOYL10 for 10% off as well. And if you're the owner of a business, especially a black-owned business, please send me an email at shermainjoyelle at gmail.com or go ahead and fill out the Google form and the link in the description box. But let's get started. So yes, we're doing another chit chat video today. I just got my booster shot in my left arm and I just could not imagine trying to do a wash day when my arm feels like it's literally about to fall off. So I decided I want to talk about how to overcome a lot of those overwhelming feelings that we tend to experience on the natural hair journey. A lot of those things that give us anxiety or concern when it comes to going natural. So the internet and all the information on it is a huge blessing when it comes to wanting to learn just about anything, but also with that influx of videos and information and websites it can hard to determine you know what information is going to work for you what's true you know what to actually try what to invest in and then it also doesn't help that a lot of videos when it comes to learning about natural hair or you know building a routine a lot of these videos include so many steps and so many products that you're just kind of like you know what this isn't for me and that can make it feel impossible to kind of like just complete a wash day or feel that like you can even keep up financially. I had that feeling when I started. I'm here and I'm gonna help kind of break down, you know, some of those concerns and give you some solutions to hopefully help you overcome some of this. There's also the anxiety around like, you know, once your hair gets longer, it's, you know, how do I manage all of this hair now? And how do I afford product to keep all of my hair healthy? And that can feel even more difficult if you're dealing with side issues such as, you know, scalp issues like seborrheic dermatitis or psoriasis or dandruff, you know, etc. So when it comes to products, how do you overcome feeling like you're just not going to be able to keep up or afford all these products and these things? Keep it super simple. Whenever you start anything new, the biggest key to anything is keeping it very small, keeping it very simple. Start with shampoo, conditioner, leave-in. That's it. Especially when you first big chop and your hair is short, 
I think it's easier to get away with using less products on your hair. And just starting with those three things, then you can kind of start figuring out which brands of those things that you like, which is also gonna help you figure out maybe something else in that line you eventually want or need for your hair. It'll be easier to be like, you know what, this brand worked for me, let me try their gel if that's what you use, or let me try their deep conditioner, or let me try you know, a pomade or whatever you think is gonna suit your hair or whatever you know your hair needs. But once you kind of have your base of the shampoo, the conditioner, and the leave-in, you can build from there and it makes it much, much easier. That's how I started out. I just kept it super basic. When I say conditioner, you can do like the daily conditioner. I know a lot with TWAs, you just hop in the shower, use your conditioner to refresh your hair, and then apply your leave-in. Since a lot of people like to do wash and goes when it comes to TWAs. I don't think you need to hop in the shower every single day. I, I would just spray it with water and apply your leave-in to get your hair to soften up or to be manageable with style. I would also think about replacing conditioner with a deep conditioner and using that just once weekly. That's how, if I could start my journey over again, I would do that step differently. Instead of just buying regular conditioners and using that every day, I would do what I do now, which is deep condition once a week and use water and leave-in to just style my hair throughout the week. But those three things are what I use for almost the entire first year of my journey. You know, you can incorporate a gel in there if you want more curl definition. That wasn't a huge factor for me, so that was something that was easy to just kind of leave out and reduce the amount of products that I used on my hair. It kept it, kept everything less overwhelming and stressful for me. But like I said, if you already, if you know that like, you're like, I want a gel, a gel works for me, you know, incorporate that. And you don't have to buy the super expensive products. I know when you go on videos and you see all these hair reviews and you wanna keep up with the newest and latest product that's coming out, just know that that's not necessary. It's The whole point of going natural is not to, you know, invest in all these really expensive products because you don't have to in order to go natural. You can, you can keep it cheap and simple. You can use things such as just hair grease, olive oil, uh, even go, even start with even using some like old school products. I've heard using S curl is amazing. I know it was made for Jerry curls, but I've heard naturals use S curl on their hair and it helps keep it moisturized and healthy. I would like to do a video. I used to have a Jerry curl, so I used to use S curl all the time for years and years and years when my mom had me get a Jerry curl. So I thought it'd be fun to try and see how S curl would work on my natural hair as my leave-in. So if you guys want to see that, leave a comment and maybe we'll do something with that. Even with my hair much, much longer now, I mean, my hair is like almost, you know, boob length at this point. You, I still try and keep it simple. It's just shampoo, deep conditioner, my leave-in, and a butter. I, I don't use anything more than that. I don't really need to. Sometimes you can even get away without even using a butter. I, you can even just get away with a leave-in, if it's a heavier leave-in especially. Sometimes you can get away with just that, and if you don't like butters, you can use an oil you have in your pantry. I personally love to use olive oil, you can use grape seeds. some people like coconut oil. So you can save money there with your sealant. So even as my hair has gotten longer, I haven't felt the need to have to go and buy like super expensive products. Some people even just use like the dollar shampoos, like as long as it strips the products off your scalp and your hair, like you're good. <laughs> so you don't have to break your bank in order to, you know, have your natural hair. I mean, people people figure it out every single day, you know? You don't have to go and buy these, like, freaking $20 shampoo and conditioners, $12, $15. You can keep it, like, $10 and under. Something that is also kind of overwhelming is feeling like, with natural hair, is needing to put it into protective styles, con you know, frequently. I have personally only had my hair braided maybe two or three times in the four years that I've been natural. You guys know I tend to wear you know, for the first couple years, all I wore was my afro. Recently, as it's become much longer, it's easier to manage when my hair is stretched, specifically in braid outs. And that's how I've worn my hair, that's how I've, gr I've grown it. I haven't really needed to keep it constantly braided up. I haven't needed to do, you know, expensive protective styles or, you know, doing box braids every couple of months. I haven't had to do that, so I've been able to save a lot of money just working with what I've got. It's also allowed me to learn how to work with my hair, learn how to style it, um, learn how my hair works. Again, the benefit of just not having to spend money on expensive styles. I, do I, I do I love box braids? I love box braids. It's probably, besides my afro, definitely my 
one of my top favorite protective styles or just styles in general. I think box braids are gorgeous, but they are expensive. <laughs> they are very expensive. It, it will cost me, you know, one or 200, you know, that, in, that including the hair and stuff, you know, and I don't always have, you know, a hundred, two hundred dollars just laying around to go get my hair braided. And my sister's got three kids. She usually would, she's the one that had braided my hair the last two times. But you know, she's got, you know, her own family and things to worry about. So she's not always available to do it. So, you know, what's the next best thing is just working with what I've got. Doing braid outs on my hair or the high puff is also very convenient, especially when you're a couple days past your wash day. <laughs> Twists and high puffs, chunky braids. You know, even when I do my wash day and like I said, I like to do my braid outs, and I do the, the chunky braids. I do about I do about 12 chunky braids on my hair on wash day. I mean, I'll walk around, you know, two, three, sometimes four days just in that. I've actually been seeing more when I do I've, when I've gone out. I've actually been seeing natural women who do leave their hair in their braids or their twists, and you know that that one's considered a hairstyle. You know, if you're con you know a little self conscious about just going out in your you know your wash day braids or twists, you know, you can add little beads and things to it to make you feel more comfortable, but, you know, I, I go out, I'll do errands and, you know, go out the house just, just with those in, you know, it's, it's considered a style to me, you know, my hair's braided up and moisturized and, you know, out of my face and it works, I'm, I think it looks good, personally, but also to just go back to feeling overwhelmed with, you know, products and things like that. I've been interested in trying to DIY some things just myself, just using what I have at home. I'm hoping that the video that I will upload after this is a DIY exfoliating scrub. You know, you see all the little scrub, you know, body scrub videos all over TikTok, especially with the Tree Hut brand or whatever. You know, I was like, ooh, you know, I can DIY my own like body scrub. Well, then maybe I can DIY my own scalp exfoliating scrub. So there's tons of videos you can make your own deep conditioners, you can make your own shampoos, you know, just using things you have at home. You know, so go on Google, go on YouTube, go on Pinterest. There's tons and tons and tons of websites and videos that show you how to make all these things. You can make your own leave-in. You know, you don't have to go out and buy the name brand things. Here's a secret, I really don't make that much from YouTube. Granted, I do do it full time, but I'm also like basically a glorified housewife. You know, I just kind of hang out at home and do my YouTube videos on the side when I'm not taking care of the house. But, you know, I'm very thankful for my channel, obviously, and I love doing it, but you know, I don't make that much from my channel. And so, I do try to figure out ways to where how can I care for my hair without having to drop, you know, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 dollars on products just to keep up with my natural hair. So I try to keep it pretty simple. Obviously, doing promos and things, I do get free products, you know, every once in a while, but I've been leaning towards, you know, what do I already have in my pantry? You know, what kind of old school products can we kind of go back and lean on to, you know? It worked for our parents, our grandparents, their parents before, you know, obviously these products worked, you know, they could work for us. You know, I, you guys know I use Sulfur 8, that's a classic. It's a pink lotion, it's also a classic. I used that a couple times in the beginning of my hair journey and that's not very expensive. Uh, going back to S Curl, uh, and I do wish that I had actually spoken about, I do wish that I had talked about this more, but this has, this stuff's amazing and I used it a lot on my afro and I want to do a video with this. I keep forgetting, but that's the reason I keep the empty bottle in my bathroom is so when I see it, hopefully I'll replace it. But the Soft Sheen Carson Stay Soft Fro Hair and Scalp Spray. Oh my gosh, this stuff, I loved this for my afro. You know, so I want to do a whole series using, you know, old school products that still really work for our hair and aren't gonna break your bank. So there there are options. You know, not everything's gonna work for everybody. It's trial and error. You know, I can't tell you how many gels I've tried using and they just don't work for me. I don't use them, so I don't invest in them. I'm not gonna force something that my hair doesn't like or cooperate with to try and work for me. I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna keep wasting my money. I know that, you know, keeping it pretty simple is what seems to work for my hair. And I think that would work for a majority of your guys' hair. I think that overloading it with products is, is what's kind of ruining the journey for a lot of naturals. And also having too high, or rather, or having 
unrealistic expectations of your hair is also what's causing you to feel very overwhelmed. You don't have type three hair. You're not, you don't have loose curls. That's not what your hair is gonna look like. Afro and kinky and coily, that's what it looks like. Your hair is, think of it as like a beautiful fluffy cloud. That's your hair. As gorgeous as it is, you don't need to change it. Those are the styles you work with. You, you get to, you know, you get to enjoy the, the afros, the afro puffs. No, things like that. Look up styles with that hair type. You need to, you need to kind of like flush out your social media of women who don't have your hair. You need to get realistic with yourself. What I did is I didn't even really look at pictures of other women's hair. I was like, I looked in the mirror and said, okay, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm working with. This is what it looks like. I don't need to compare it to anyone else's head because quite frankly, I didn't think I could find a lot of pictures with women who had my hair type or let alone looked like me with my hair type. There weren't, there weren't a lot. There was a few, but there weren't a lot. So I just decided I'm not gonna depend on photos from the internet. I'm just gonna just depend on what I see in the mirror. And that works for me. Also know that it's okay to get upset. It's okay to feel frustrated, especially in the beginning when this is all new to you. It's a journey for a reason. You're, you're learning to work with it and that takes time. It takes time, it takes TLC, it takes research, and it takes patience. Patience with yourself, patience for what you're trying to learn, and you also have to learn to kind of grow some thick skin because not everybody likes this hair type. Not even people who naturally have this hair type will like it. And, and if you're on a journey of self-love and to get to know yourself, uh, you have to learn how to ignore what those people say, how they react. If you need to, you could watch my uh, previous video on you know, how to handle other people's reactions to your natural hair because that is another overwhelming part of the natural hair journey. Uh, and remembering it, it's about you. It's not about them, it's about you. Luckily, in this day and age, you know we've, we've got the Crown Act now, so there's really no excuse to not wear your natural hair or get, get to know it. What is that saying by Huey Freeman from the Boondocks. Our ancestors fought and died for our crown. The least we can do is wear it. If you have questions, search it up. If you have concerns, you know, research it. You know, figure it out. Be smart enough. Be smart and rational enough to know that you have all the tools you'll ever need and you can get through this. <laughs> you can, you can. But it is okay to ask for help. I haven't heavily advertised it, but I do Zoom calls. I have a link down in my description box to schedule Zoom, a Zoom call with me if you have, you know, questions about your routine, questions about products, or you just want to chit chat, you know, schedule a Zoom call with me. I'd be more than happy to help, you know, walk you through some things or answer your questions. So yeah, so, you know, check that out. See if it's, you know, something you'd like to do. It's not free, you know, that way no one feels like they're really wasting their time with anything and that you know that it will be taken seriously. But, but I do have that option for those who, who need, you know, that extra help. Or, or just don't feel comfortable with what they already know and just need a little bit more guidance. I, I, I would love to talk to you about that. So, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's video. I will be uh, doing actual hair videos after this. I know I've done like a bunch of chit chats, but I still hope that you enjoyed it. But uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa's Valentine's Day sale if you're interested in that. Zoom call link is down below. Keep blooming and I'll see you guys in my next video.